Well, when I came into NASA, it was 1990, so they had just gotten back to return to flight after the Challenger accident, and I was somewhat familiar with it, but once I got on board there and really, I mean, had the detailed debriefings and so forth, and it was a marked change in NASA culture after that happened. You know, it was, it was quite egregious, actually, on the human factor side or the, the organizational side of not listening to the inputs. There were plenty of technical inputs that could have prevented that tragedy, and, and that's what made it even more tragic. Uh, the whole time I was in the astronaut corps, I found a, a, you know, a very strong culture in terms of, you know, the, the stop work approach, anyone can have inputs, uh, and, and everyone obviously very, very sensitive to it, and, and in recognizing that, um, you know, we're in a 99.999% business. Um, again, it, but it, uh, I left NASA in 99, and then just a few years later, I get up on a Saturday morning, specifically early, it was in California, 6 a.m., specifically to watch Rick Husband land Columbia. He was a good friend of mine. He had worked for me in the astronaut corps, and then, of course, turned into one of the worst days of my life, to see it happen yet again on Columbia with, uh, I knew, six of the seven astronauts on board. Uh, and then to see afterwards, of course, I was not part of NASA at the time, so not privy to a lot of the early kind of words coming out, but my assessment afterwards was it was much less egregious than Challenger in terms of the human shortfalls. However, it was enough, and the net result was the same. And there were some uh, shortfalls in, you know, misinterpreting some of the data, you know, the garbage in, garbage out, the inputs they received, uh, mischaracterizing at a systemic level what everyone just thought was a maintenance issue that really was a huge safety issue. And even, you know, I mean, I must admit myself when they said some foam came off the ET only about 13 meters ahead of where it struck the orbit, I go... How much harm could that do? Yeah. But what was kind of missing from everyone's mind, you know, from first analysis was it had so much deceleration at that speed, it, it, its relative velocity compared to the shuttle itself went from zero to 500 miles an hour, so what's it, maybe 1,000 kilometers an hour, 900 kilometers an hour, give or take, uh, like that. 